the first detective went into the bank and uh, began uh, attempted to interview the suspect. Uh, he drew a firearm. So yesterday at approximately 4 p.m., uh, detectives were conducting a surveillance at Bankwell, located in Southport. We had received, we were in the middle of an investigation uh, regarding a financial crime that was uh, going to take place there. Uh, we observed the suspect in that, in that uh, financial crime enter the bank when our detectives, uh, when the first detective went into the bank and uh, began, uh, attempted to interview the suspect, uh, he drew a firearm, at which point three more detectives entered the bank. Um, there was a little standoff where the, the male um, had his firearm in his hand. Uh, he ignored repeated orders to drop the weapon. Uh, eventually he did drop the weapon and was taken into custody. While he was being taken into custody, he did resist arrest and had to be tasered. Um, can you tell me about the incident? It, I understand it was a senior citizen that was being... It's, a, it's an ongoing investigation right now regarding a, um, a person who resides in, out of state in Texas. Um, they sustained a financial loss uh, at this point in the, about $120,000 that we were looking into. Um, and this, this was related, this crime at call, uh, Bankwell was related to that. Gotcha, okay. And tell me about the officer that was injured, if you could just... So the officer that injured was one of our detectives. Uh, he initially entered, he entered the bank after the suspect had drawn his weapon. Um, he removed, a, the, the suspect had brought a nine-year-old child to the bank. This detective removed that child from the bank, removed him from danger. When he came back in, uh, he was assisting in the arrest of the combative suspect is when he sustained an injury to his knee. Okay, and how long did the standoff last? I mean, it must have been- It was really about a, a minute or two total. Oh, okay, so it sounded like it was much longer. And, it seems it felt, much longer than it is, but it was only a minute or two total. Okay, and everybody's gonna be fine? Everybody will be okay. And the guy's in custody? The uh, male is in custody. Uh, his court date is May 7th. Uh, he did not make his bond last night. He was transferred over to uh, GA2 uh, this morning for where's arraignment. The, where's the child now? Uh, we notified, as we're mandated reporters, we notified DCF. Uh, I believe DCF has reunited the child with his mother.